Explain yourself. November 2nd. Number 1. In November, we often see small children wearing their best clothes and visit the shrine with their parents and grandparents. What kind of event is this? It is an event called Shikigosen. This is an annual event in Japan celebrating the growth of seven-year-old, five-year-old, and three-year-old children and holds Shikigosen pilgrimage at shrines. We report the children's growth and thank the gods for the growth of the children and make wishes for their health for the future. Some people say the reason many people make the pilgrimage on the 15th is because 7 plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 15. Number 2. Do all 7, 5, and 3-year-old go to the shrine with their best clothes? This event celebrates the growth of 3- and 7-year-old girls and 5-year-old boys. The age is in accordance with the old Japanese counting method. In the past, girls had to shave their head until they were 3 years old, 2 years old in modern method, and this event was a ritual to end it. For a 5-year-old boy 4 years old in full age, it was a ritual in which they wore a hakama or traditional divided skirt for the first time. For a 7-year-old girl 6 years old in full age, it was a ritual in which they began wearing a wide obi or sash for the kimono with same width as that of adults. Number 3. Please tell the difference between man and rei full age and kazoetashi the age based on the old Japanese counting method. Man and rei is a counting method in which the year of birth is zero and the age is added one by one when birthday comes. This is the age that is indicated on resumes and similar documents. Kazoetashi is a counting method in which the person is one year old at the time of birth, one year is added every New Year's Day January 1st. For example, a person born on April 10th, 2019 is one year old at that time. On January 1st, 2020, the person will become two years old. This is the way of counting used at shrines and such as exorcism, celebrations, and etc. However, the celebration for the Kenriki the 60th birthday is only when you are 60 years old in full age. Number 4. What is Kenriki the 60th birthday? In order to understand the meaning of Kenriki the 60th birthday, I will explain the traditional Japanese calendar Ito the Zodiac. Ito is also known as the Jikin Junishi, and there are ten types of Ken Heavenly stems which includes Ko, Atsu, Hei, Ti, Bo, Viki, Ko, Shin, Jin, Ki, which is actually a numbering system used in ancient China, and it is used in combination with twelve types of Share Heavenly branches which includes Na, Wushur, Tora, Wu, Tatsu, Mi, Vuma, Hitsuji, Saru, Tori, Inu, I, I Mouse, Ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, monkey, rooster, dog, boar or pig. The Junishi is a symbol that represents the twelve times and the directions. When used in a calendar, the ten types of can and the twelve types of shur are combined and is called by names such as Kinoto Hitsuji or Hinoyuma. For example, 2019 is the year of Tsukunoto I. There are 60 combinations of Jikin and Junishi, and the same combination will come again in 60 years. 2079 will be the year of Tsukunoto I. In such way, from returning to the original calendar in the 60th year of the Jikin Junishi, the 60th birthday is celebrated for having lived until the completion of the calendar. 5. In general, how often do Japanese people wear kimonos? There are almost no opportunities to wear kimono these days. For example, kimonos are worn during baby's pilgrimage to the shrine when the baby is one month old, he or she is taken to the shrine for celebration. Some grandmothers and mothers wear kimono. Three, five, and seven-year-old children wear kimono during shikigosen. The mother and the grandmother wear them sometimes. Almost all women who became 20 years old wear kimono on coming of the age day. The bride may wear kimono at the wedding. 
the bride's relatives and friends may also wear them. During funerals, married relatives sometimes wear black mourning kimono. When participating in a traditional event, such as tea ceremonies, kimono may be worn. Yukata is often worn by young people during summer festivals. Number 6. Do people buy the kimono worn by the children during shikigosen? Some people buy them, but most are rental. If you go to the photo studio, you can choose a favorite kimono from various kinds of kimono. In most cases, you can take pictures with the kimono at the photo studio before going to the shrine. After visiting the shrine, it will be returned to the photo studio. You only have to pay for the photos and there is no need for cleaning. Number 7. Have you ever worn a kimono? Please describe the situation during the time. A long time ago, I wore one during the coming of the age day ceremony. At that time, many people still bought their own kimonos, and my mother bought me a set of kimono and obi sash for the kimono. I woke up early in the morning, had my hair set in Japanese style, had a specialist to put on the kimono and tie a strap. The strap was very tight and backbreaking. Also, it was difficult to walk because I was not used to wearing the traditional footwear. When the ceremony was over and I took off my kimono, I felt a sense of freedom. Number 8. November is the season when Odin is delicious. Please explain how to make Odin. Put potatoes, Japanese radish, kanyaku devil's tongue, deep-fried tofu, chicken, boiled egg, and various fish cakes such as chikawa and hanpen into a hot pot with Japanese-style soup stock seasoned with soy sauce and sweet sake, and boil them until they are cooked and soft. You may put some Japanese hot mustard, if preferred. Number 9. What is your favorite ingredient in an odin? I like them all, but I like kanyaku the best. Number 10. Is there anything else you like to eat in this season? I like hot pots. I can enjoy a variety of different hot pots, such as boiled hot pot eaten with soy sauce with vinegar, kimchi hot pot with kimchi, soy milk hot pot which uses soy milk to boil the ingredients, and chankonabe which is often eaten by sumo wrestlers.